speck of dust been drawn towards this light. As I'm being drawn up towards it, I thought, is this real? I looked back over my shoulder and far beneath me, I could see the darkness. Still not understanding what this light was, I began to move up to the opening, enter it. As I was drawn into the opening, I could now see that it was a tunnel. As I looked along the length of it, I could see the, the source of the radiance. My first thought is the center of the universe. Look at the light. Look at the power coming from there. As I've been moved towards it, I watch as a wave of radiance comes up. As this wave of light comes off the source, it touches me and I feel warmth, comfort. All that kind of fear and darkness just seems to go out of me and I feel a living light go through me. Shafts of radiance came out from the central core. It was like a white fire. Phenomenal radiance in the central core. From that, I watched this brilliant light piercing out. I thought even the stars in the universe, even the constellations, must find their energy source from this focal point. What is that light? Is there someone in there surrounded by this radiance? As I questioned that in my own mind, a voice spoke to me from the center of the light. The moment I hear his voice, I recognize it to be the same voice that spoke to me in the ambulance, telling me to the Lord's Prayer and whether I'd, whether I'd forgive. And he said, Ian, do you wish to return? If you wish to return, you must see in a new light. Words appeared in front of my eyes. God is light and in him there is no darkness at all i thought god is light could that possibly be god and in him there's no darkness at all i've just come from darkness whoever this being is he is completely separate from darkness i see no shadow i see no evil only pure white radiance and he knows my name could it possibly be god that i'm standing in the presence of talking to I thought if it is, he must be able to see my spirit absolutely naked. He must see everything. I began to pull back. As I began to pull back towards the darkness of the tunnel, I watched a wave of radiance come off him. I expected it to touch me and literally catapult me back into the pit. But as this wave of light emanated forth off him, it moved through me and all I got was love. The love was causing me to literally blubber. I was actually just bawling my eyes out. And I could feel an acceptance coming. I said, God, you can't love me. I've cursed you. More love. I said, oh, I've committed all kinds of sins. I've slept around, I've taken drugs. More. And as the love kept coming, I then literally divulged the, what I knew to be the most debauched things in my life. As the light began to open up, I became aware that, that standing in the center, I began to make out a man's bare feet. Around his ankles were dazzling white robes, garments. Not garments of cloth, but garments of light. As I looked out and saw that, I began to lift my face up to see the chest of a man and, and his arms are outstretched with dazzling white robes as if to welcome me. As I looked, I knew that I was looking upon God. You're just awestruck. You, you can't be prepared. You have no way you can be prepared to see this. You just, I stood in absolute amazement. And as I looked towards his head, his hair was white radiance. I, out of his face, appeared to be light billowing forth, literally permeating out of like the, his entire face. You couldn't see the features of his face because the light was seven to ten times brighter than all the light I'd seen, and it was literally um, uh, emanating forth from his face. I began walking closer towards him. I wonder if I could just see his face. I'll know who God is. As I got within a few feet of his presence, I began to place my face into the light. As my, and it didn't hurt your eyes. It was like you could look into it. As I placed my face closer in towards his face, hoping I'd break through that veil, as my face did, he suddenly moved. 
I saw an opening in a circular shape like a window into eternity or a door into eternity. As I looked through this, I could see an entire new earth open up before me. It was like I was standing on the threshold of eternity and I was getting a glimpse into it. As I'm looking, I can see grass with the same light and life emanating forth from it. I can see flowers, fields. I knew if I stepped on the grass, it would not damage it. The color and the energy and the life emanating from it I, it was amazing. I see a, ri a river or a crystal clear stream, trees along its banks, rolling hills to the left. I look out to my right, mountains in the distance, blue, blue sky, crystal clear. I'm standing there and I'm going, this is paradise. As I'm looking, I know that I belong here. It's like I knew I had been created by God to live here. I thought, why wasn't I born here in the first place? Why was I born on this earth? I knew I'd come home. I knew I'd travel the world looking for that paradise. And here it was in front of me. I thought, I'm home. As I started to move in, his presence came right back in front of me and blocked the way. He asked me this question, he said, Ian, now that you've seen, do you wish to go in or do you wish to return? God, I'm not married. I've got no children. nothing for me to return back for. I don't want to go back. As I look back, to my amazement, God showed me one person that had loved me. The moment I saw my mother directly behind me, I wept. I thought, I've just not only lied to God, but there is someone who loved me. And I thought, if I'm dead, and this is actually happening, and then I step through into paradise, into the presence of God. Will my dear mother have any idea that her heathenistic son prayed in that ambulance, repented of his sins, gave his life over to God, and God heard this young man and caught him up into paradise? I thought my mother will think her son went to hell. I thought she'd get a, a telegram or a telex saying your son died last night. Would you like him ship time in a box or a jar of ashes? I thought if that happens, it could destroy her. She's suffered so much, she's lost her family. And I thought, near I, her, how selfish would it be for me to step through and leave my mother to bury me and think I went to hell? I want to go back. I was instantaneously back in my physical form in a hospital with the doctor that had been working on me holding my right foot in the air with a sharp instrument like a scalpel or a knife prodding the base of my foot. I could feel nothing, prodding it like a dead piece of meat. I hear the voice of God interrupt my thought and he said this, son, I have just given your life back. I went, what? I said, I've just seen God. What's happening here? I felt an amazing power go through me. It was like a, a low voltage of electricity. I felt my entire body starting to feel again. And within a few hours, I was completely healed. I said, God, what have I become? He said, you're a reborn Christian.
He said, you only came in because your sins have been forgiven and the blood of Jesus covered you, the sacrifice, the atonement of Christ Jesus.